Welcome back guys to the channel and to the series. We out here doing it again. One time for the one time. You know, you know. This is Frederick Gaming coming at you. We're back in Middle Earth again. Because you know we be rocking it out. Killing these orcs and whatnot. In the last episode, we met a tree guy. Uh, took down a bunch of things. Almost died. And now apparently there's a Belrog out there to get us. Oh god. Okay, uh, well, let me take care of these guys real quick, and then I'll continue the intro! Because y'all like to ruin my shiz. I gained a little more health, so I'm good with that. Uh, Alright, so in the last episode, like I said, we fought a wooden drake plant thing, and we uh, met a tree thing. Apparently, there's a bell rog trying to kill us. I, I don't know, but um, what in the heck is that? That's a tooth and talon? What? Okay, these are war chiefs. Okay, 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 okay. So, what are we gonna do today? Well, I was thinking we can do the Ring of Power. Hey, let me get that going. Fast travel right here. I am still feeling a little bit under the weather. It has been raining here nonstop, and my allergies have been going crazy. Do we, can we, is that a... Alright, let's just go ahead and grab this intel while we have it. Mm, we probably gonna need this stuff. Like that right there, yeah. He's clumsy, fear Kergort, exhaustion, and ranged attack. Okay. So like I said, guys, I'm not stealing all that great, but I should be able to make it through the episode, no problem. Okay, um, let's go ahead and head over then. Before we start this, let's look in our inventory real quick. Uh, grab down here. Oh, look at that. We got another. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do at all. So do want that. Mm, we need one more. Yeah, we still need one more. Oh, we getting up there? That we getting up there? Slowly. All right, guys. After some some combining of jams and all of that, we here. We ready? We out here. Ring of power. Here we go. Uh, the return of the new king, new ring, my bad, new ring, gives you the power of domination over your enemies. It is time to forge an army. Let's go. I think we about to start dominating captains. I've had enough of your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm going to kill you for all these orcs to see. Always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate. It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, Yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. Okay, are you guys going to weaken yourselves up so I can dominate your bitch asses? Mm, oh, no. We could. I like him. 
Uh, you can recruit captains as followers to recruit a captain, attack him until he breaks, and then hold B to dominate. Okay. Um, he's only level 19, right? Yeah, he's only level 19. Wait, dodge brute attacks by sliding through his legs. All right. Get out of here. And there we go. Right, now we can break. really trying to deal with you right now, homie. Biat. Right, Lord, Dark Lord. Same thing, really. It was out to me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Thanks, Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to oh, find your flag? Okay. In uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain. Deadly smart. Which, oh, I guess you'd have to be given the two heads. You take him okay, this guy's pretty freaking hilarious. To sell on and get yourself some nice new digs and part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? God, this guy's pretty freaking hilarious. I like him. Okay, we gained a skill point, and we gained a gem. Okay, that's good. Brutes wants to help to defeat the Overlord and capture the fortress in Norin. Okay. This region is controlled by the fortress of... Sh I can't pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Which is ruled by a fearsome overlord. To begin your conquest of Mordor, you must assault and capture... Sh sh <laughs> Increase your army strength by recruiting additional captains to serve as assault leaders in your assault force. Press RB to view the fortress siege upgrades. <gasps> what? This is cute. Uh, the overlord's strongest troops are his war chiefs. They are responsible for the fortress's formidable defenses, known as siege upgrades. You can draw out a war chief by undertaking a confrontation mission. Once drawn out, a war chief can be killed outright. 
or dominated and recruited into your army. Oh, that provides a, a little bit of an ultimatum. Which one do I want? Killing a dominating war chief before the assault disables his siege upgrade, weakening the fortress's defense. Killing a dominate or dominating a war chief before the assault disables. Okay. Bruns has joined your assault force as an assault leader. Recruit additional captains to join the assault force and spend Meridian Moran Mer to purchase siege upgrades for them. Press A. Okay. Sappers, the attacking army is strengthened by the groups. Okay. Well, I can just purchase that, right? I, mean, I have the stuff, right? I can just keep doing it. Okay, look at that. I mean, not bad. Okay. So. Really, all I can do, all I need to do is just, all the ones that aren't, like this guy, I can, I can definitely take him, but I think he's got a thing with him. These guys don't have anything. All right. So let's go ahead and spend our point. Where do we want it? I think I'm going to just purchase this because I, I really just want to kill things quicker. Let's look into our inventory and see what we got here. Okay, that's the new one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nothing big here. Okay. Weakening enemy power is important. The Witch King's vision is, is crucial for dominant captives prepare your assault. What is that over there? The Witch King's vision. The Nazgul are tracking you through Mordor using the power of the Planteer. Meet with Ethriel to face their threat. You know, I was just thinking maybe we can do this and find another captain. That sounds fun, right guys? I mean, you guys are going along for the ride, but... I guess I'll see you over there with the clue. And you're the one that has the issue with it? Ooh. Hmm. Vigilant against stealth. Magic does not kill me. Man does not kill me. I kill man. Arnold Gorias. Shoot Gorias. Vigilant against stealth. Enraged by weakness. Advanced class. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I literally just need to kill his categories real quick. Okay.
Come on. Just gonna try to kill this thing real quick. He's dead. Oh, he became arranged. Oh, great. <sighs> Come on. Uh, what? Back here, homie. I'm far enough away. There we go. Look at that. Reduce level? No, we're going to recruit. Hunt now available. All right, boss. Well, so you're expanding already, beauty. You know what you should do is make that bloke your bodyguard. Anyone looking to carve his way across Mordor needs a guard or two. I mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously, but if it ever got to the point where I needed a hand on the battlefield, I'd, I'd cut my own throat. But you, you should have some added muscle. No shame in it. Okay, so how do I do that? Highlight your new follower. Okay. Press Y to command Ooh, this follower. Cold. Press A to set this follower as your bodyguard. You can change your bodyguard at any time. Cool. Alright. That's neat. Neat, neat, neat. Neat, neat, neat. Okay. Upgrade unlock some bodyguard followers. Set as your bodyguard can now be summoned to fight your side. Okay, okay. So it's basically... Alright. We're just gonna investigate this clue real quick. Near. Those slaves will soon be rid of their masters. Another tank and a terror destroyer. Okay. Got him. Guard slave bears, my friend. Hot iron on seared flesh. Let's see what I can do to kill him. As well, and show all the Mordor I own you. Yeah. Mordor in stealth, soft target. Fear poison.
Oh no, that's not so we did. Okay, um die. Uh, no, I don't think so. You're dead. He's enraged, cool. Yeah, I think so, man. You're going to be set. No, we're going to recruit. Good now. Got yourself another hanger on, have ya? You? You'll have a proper army in no time. But you gotta remember, an army needs orders to follow. And I'll tell you what's always a popular one. Murder. Command that new follower of yours to gut some bugger you don't like. And that'll free you up to gut somebody else at the same time. And remember to keep the target's weaknesses in mind. If he's terrified of fire, there's nothing funnier than sending someone to clobber him with a fire weapon. Oh, that's proper music, that is. Okay. Commanding and leveling captains. Go to the army menu and command your follower to target and kill an enemy captain. If your follower successfully completes his follower mission, his level will increase and he will get stronger. Your followers can increase their level as equals to yours, but cannot exceed it. Okay. So, highlight a follower. Um, this, this is, this is the one I want. Command. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to kill this guy. Confirm mission, let's go. Like Nemesis missions, follower missions are active for a limited time. When the counter below the mission expires, the mission automatically resolves. Your follower will attempt to complete the follower mission on his own, but you can join him to ensure his success. If he is successful, he will... <gasps> so what you're saying is I need to do his follower mission. Do it. Excuse <coughs> me. The beast doesn't even know we're here. Counter attacks while mounted? I don't want to do that. I'm gonna kill you. You'll never see the folly of your ways. So I'll have to put you down for the sake of my beloved ghouls. Oh, what? Uh, 
I'm I'm gonna say I'm stuck, but I'm not. I I don't want that, I want this. Did it resolve? Oh no. Oh no. Did he grow at ground level? Oh no. Okay, so... One of those is not going to be able to complete unless I kill the captain. There he is. Oh, you're poisoned. Gonna take him over like that, and he's gonna be another captain. I think a Karagor hunter would be great for our, our squad. Yeah, no, um. Bodyguard to a war chief, so you can well stab him in the back. Of course, no war chief's gonna take on a bodyguard unless he's proved himself, and the place to do that is in the fight pits. Now, does surviving a few rounds make you trustworthy? No idea, but it's a bloody good laugh, and you'd be a drongo to trust an orc anyway, so it all works out. Go on, have a go. So, from what I'm getting, this guy is literally just telling me how to do it. War chiefs use fight pits to ritually select their bodyguards, command a follower to infiltrate a war chief as a bodyguard by proving himself in the pits. He will betray his master the next time you encounter him, stabbing the war chief in the back. You can also command a follower to infiltrate an empty garrison in the fortress where he'll capture a victory point in the eventual siege. What? I don't get that, but okay. Highlight a follower. Um, what follower? I have this guy, right? No. Command. A war chief to spy on. Are you a war chief? Your follower must survive the fire. Uh, okay. Nemesis mission. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay. You can watch the pit in order to maintain the following cover. You Wait, your follower must survive the fight pits before becoming a spy. You can watch fight pit battles, but in order to maintain your follower's cover, you cannot intervene. That's a little difficult. Let's go start this camp raid. This will probably be the last mission before the episode's finished. Okay. Ooh, he's a 22. I want to... Uh, I have to kill the Nordic commander, and I have to... Yeah. Kill the Uruk, and then dominate the shit out of that level 22. I know I don't say this often, but I've been real proud of you boys. You because there, I think, is a piece of armor that... I'm gonna kill you. Kill you. This is gonna be easy. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, hold on. I want to get into my inventory because I believe there is. Uh, no, recruit an orc from the terror tribe. Okay, that's not it. What about this? Recruit a tank that is level twenty or higher. That's not it. Where's the? No. Do I not have it? From the Dark Tribe. Who 
Mongol is a warmonger. Okay. Come on, just let me dominate. I'll grab one of these two. Okay, is that two? He's a hype man. What he is going to show you is what pain really is. No, ow. And get it. There's the bonus mission. Gonna be arrow proof. No, you're not. Good. Get out of my freaking way. What is going on, man? Perhaps because it remembers how you failed your wife and son at the Black Gate. I'm a kill these niggas. I remember too. <sighs> Alright, first off. If y'all come in here, I'm gonna kill you both. They didn't even give me an option. Are you kidding me? There was no option to even fight back. I call hacks. Good. 
He died, okay. All right, so now he is the bodyguard to him, right? Do I have to kill him? Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you once again for hanging out, sitting on the couch, on a plane, on a train, wherever you guys are. If you guys are interested in seeing some behind-the-scenes stuff, go ahead and hit the, the links down, down below. You know, it's got my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram, all that good, good stuff. And if you guys are interested in more of this series, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. But until then, this is Frederick Gaming, signing off.